question I am talking about is time scaling, time shifting and time reversal. We should know how combination of these operations are to be applied and when we are applying them in a combination, should we follow any order or not? This I will be explaining to you using an example. So this is the question that we have. The function f of t is represented by this. It has got some value between the time interval 1 and 2. What we have to do is we have to apply some operation on the function f of t so that the resultant function is f of minus t plus 2 and we have to sketch the waveform of this function. Now before you continue seeing this video for how am I solving this question, I would sincerely request you to solve it by yourself and then check it here. The resultant function that we want is f of minus t plus 2. What we can see here is when f of t is getting transformed to f of minus t plus 2, the possible operations that are implemented on this function are time shifting operation and time reversal operation because of this negative sign. So what do we have here is? This part is showing the time shifting operation. This part is showing the time reversal operation. Let us start solving this numerical. So here what I have done is, I have tried to write some equation for f of t. It has got a triangular shape between 1 and 2 and the value is 0 otherwise. So I have just written a triangle here. I am not writing the equation of this line form because we are performing the operation on the time axis. So it is only the time components that are going to change. There will be no change in the shape of the signal. That is why for now I am not bothered about the shape of the signal. I have just represented it with a triangle. So to solve this question what I have done is I have first applied the time shifting operation where t is transformed to t plus 2 and I am getting f of t plus 2. Then on this function I have applied a time reversal operation. So the next is time reversal operation where t is getting changed to minus t. So this is the result that I am getting and this is same as what we wanted here. Let us now apply all these operations on this time axis. So when I am applying this change onto this function, I am just applying it at all the places where this function is present and I am leaving out the place where the function is 0. So when the function value is present between 1 and 2 and we are applying time shifting operation where t is getting transformed to t plus 2. So here at the place where I had t, I will now substitute it as t plus 2. So I have substituted it as t plus 2. Now this can be simplified by taking this 2 on these sides. And when this 2 is going on those sides it will become minus 2. So minus 2 plus 1 will give me minus 1. And on this side it is going minus 2. So minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So this is the result of time shifting. Now after time shifting what we are doing is we are applying time reversal. So to this time shifted signal I have applied time reversal by changing t to minus t. So in this function when t is changing to minus t this is what I will get. I can take this negative on those sides but when I am taking this negative to that side then these signs will change their orientation. So it is now 1 greater than equal to t and when t is greater than equal to 0. These signs have now changed their orientation. Now let us see how this is affecting the presence of this signal on the time axis. So this was the function f of t that we had which is present between 1 and 2. When we have applied time shifting operation, since this is the shifting operation that is giving left shift by 2 units of time, so the signal has shifted to the left by 2 units. So earlier it was 2 here, now it has shifted by 2 units to the left so it has now come to 0. So this value has now come to 0. When we are applying time reversal what is happening is this signal is getting rotated along this y axis by 180 degrees. So now the signal has got rotated and it is looking like this. And to represent this equation in a more simplified manner I have written it as this. The important point of observation here is the first operation that we have applied here is a time shifting operation and the second operation that we have applied is time reversal. Now let us see what happens to these signals when I apply these operations the 
other way around. That means first time reversal operation and then time shifting operation. The first operation that I am applying here is a time reversal operation. So now T is getting changed to minus T. So T will be now replaced with minus T here. After time reversal, I have to apply time shifting. In time shifting, we wanted it to change to T plus 2. So I will now change T to T plus 2. Let us see what happens now. So at the place where we have T, I will substitute T plus 2. So the function inside bracket minus T plus 2. And this will be then f of minus t minus 2. But this is not the result that we wanted. We wanted it to be minus t plus 2. But when we are applying time reversal first and then time shifting, the result that we are getting is something else. So let us see now how we can rectify this. So when we are applying time reversal first, we are not getting the result that we wanted. We can resolve this issue by changing the nature of the shift, that means here it is giving a shift to the left by changing t to t plus 2. What we can do is, if I now change the shift and make it to the right shift, that means now t is changed to t minus 2. So the resultant function that I will be getting now will be f of minus t minus 2. So this will be then equal to f of minus t plus 2 which is same as what we wanted. So the conclusion of all this is the combination of shifting and reversal are to be applied. The natural order is shifting followed by reversal. However, we can also do it in the opposite manner. That means we can apply time reversal first but then the precaution that has to be taken is we should change the visible shifting manner. For example, now it is showing here us to be a left shift, but when we perform it as a right shift, then only we are getting the right answer. Now let us look at the next question with the same waveform. The result that we want now is f of 2t minus 3. So what we can see here is the function f of t is getting transformed to f of 2t minus 3. Now this f of 2t minus 3 can be obtained by applying time shifting and by applying time scaling operation. So let us see a question in which we have a combination of time scaling and time shifting operation. So on the function f of t, when t changes to t minus 3 and this operation then results into f of t minus 3. This is the time shifting operation. After we have obtained f of t minus 3, what we do now is we transform t to 2t and this operation is then called as the time scaling operation. When we apply time scaling operation, t here gets changed to 2t and therefore the function becomes f of 2t minus 3 and that is what is our requirement. So after applying all these transformations on the function, let us see the effect on the waveform. The waveform that we have here is a waveform that is from 1 to 2. So I am just concentrating on the time axis. I am not talking about the shape of the waveform. And also I am not talking about the places where the value of the function is 0. So we will just concentrate on the place where the waveform is present. So the waveform is present between 1 and 2. When for this function f of t, when t is changing to t minus 3, we are shifting the signal to the right by 3 units. So this is how the signal was and this is how after shifting the signal will look like because it has shifted by 3 units of time. This is obtained by putting t minus 3 in this equation. So at the place where we have t, I have put t minus 3. And when I take minus 3 on this side and on this side, it will add up to 1 and it will add up to 2. So this makes the function going from 4 to 5. After time shifting, what I am doing is I am performing the time scaling operation. The time scaling operation that I am performing here is, at the place where we have t, I am substituting it as 2t. So in this equation where I have t, I am re replacing this t with 2t. So we get 2t here. This 2 now can be taken to the denominator of this 4 and to the denominator of this 5 and it will now be a function which will be like this. So since the scaling factor is greater than 0, the second
signal that we get is a compressed signal. Earlier it was occupying one unit of time. Now signal will occupy only half a unit of time and it will go from 2 to 2.5. Now to obtain the desired function here, what we have done here is we have first applied time shifting operation and then applied time scaling operation. Let us look at what will happen if I apply time scaling first and then time shifting. Now to save function f of t, when I apply time scaling first, so in time scaling what we do is, we replace t with 2t, so the function is now changing from f of t to f of 2t. Now the second operation that I had to perform was time shifting, so when on f of 2t I perform time shifting, and the visible time shifting to me is time shift to the right by 3 units of time. So here I am shifting to the right by 3 units of time by changing t to t minus 3. The function that I get now is this f of 2t minus 6. But this is not the result that I wanted. So to resolve this error what I can do is I can now divide the shift amount by the scaling amount to get the correct function which I wanted. So now the new shift will be when t is changing to t minus 3 by 2 where 3 is the shift amount and 2 is the scaling amount. So it will then be f of 2 t minus 3 by 2 which will give me the function as f of 2 t minus 3 and this was what was my requirement. So that means if we have an operation in which we are supposed to perform time shifting and time scaling both the operation, the order should be first time shifting and then time scaling. But if we are performing time scaling first, certain precautions has to be taken and those precautions are that we should divide the shifting amount also by the scaling amount. When a combination of scaling and time reversal are to be performed, they can be performed in any order without any precaution since both of them will be operating only on the T. So the natural order that we obtain for performing these operations are, it should always be time shifting first. So the first operation is time shifting and the second operation could be time reversal or time scaling, any one of them.